<laughs> it was hilarious. Listen, I really want to celebrate. My urine ain't clean. No one in the baby PD and my nigga, I mean. I wanted to be on them Koi told my security in the building. I hope so. I hope so, because you dropped, you dropped the uh you dropped the ball the other day. And I had to log off. It's up to y'all how long we're gonna labor on today. It's up to y'all. Um, if y'all want a marathon live, then of course y'all know what to do. Uh likes, you gotta like. We got 40 people in here already. Shout out to Sean Davey Way, first and foremost. He made it to the title because um Lord, mm, I'm gonna play about two minutes of the coffee, y'all. I want that coffee link rotated in the chat already. Already. Nothing going on but the rent. I know that's white red kid. Girl, listen, y'all. I told my people over there on station here. I said, I'm supposed to be receiving a phone call. They, uh, the family want to confirm me for this weekend from 7, 7 to 7, right? And I said, you know, y'all probably won't get me all the weekend. Y'all won't because me working all week now, I can't I can't do nothing but work. But during the week, y'all might be able to get me. So enjoy it while it lasts. Yeah, baby. I'm back to the old grindstone. So I need to just say thank you. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for supporting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I just need to say thank you. Because I've only had this channel for, what, three months? What, three, four months? Three months? And we already at 2K. We already at 2K. And I haven't even been on YouTube. That says a lot. That says that y'all mess with me hard body, even when niggas trying to take me down. Y'all was still supporting and subscribing when I wasn't even here. I wasn't even over here. I was on uh, Station Head. Uh, yeah, Station Head. I was on Station Head every day. And every time I would check my YouTube studio, 200 more, 200 more, 200 more. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, members. Thank you, supporters. Thank you, bush watchers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's all I can say. Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know um, I come off very abrasive. I don't make any excuses for that. That's who I am. Um, I'm not everybody's cup of tea, but I am trees. One thing you can guarantee is that I'm going to be who the fuck I am. And I don't plan on switching up just because of my, my demographic, just because of who I'm sitting with, just because of what the content consists of. No, I stand for my own principles and I hold people to their own principles. That's it. That's all. And along the way, I have been blessed enough to encounter talents like Sean Davey Way and uh, a lot of other content creators. And I'm just mentioning Sean right now because, you know, and this is no slight to other content creators. This is just like Plainest Jane and people like that. Uh, Ty East Report. Those are some talented, just just talented content creators that have their own lane, have paved their own way and are just wonderfully talented. And I respect and I may disagree with and may come to, you know, some harsh words sometimes. Uh, but it is really um, just rooted in passion and just very much so reverence for them. No, and, I'm, and I don't mean to disrespect anybody, you know, that I respect. Um, I don't. But sometimes I get passionate wrapped up in my own uh, opinions that it may disrespect. So just because that's not your intent doesn't mean that that's not there's no result in your actions. OK, so we got to keep that in mind. And I never want to disrespect people that I respect um, and I respect Sean. And so we're going to proceed. And mind you, with the commentary that I'm about to give is in no way do I think it's going to influence somebody's real life friendship or the lack thereof. I'm not saying that it's going to influence. I'm just commenting on what's in public spaces, nor am I saying that we hold the pendulum of relationships in our hands. We're just observing some of the same patterns of behavior that we have observed Burger King have with his other failed friendships. Amen. Amen. This is how it begins. So Sean, um, I'm just going to start talking about the coffee. Sean was very, uh, when, when it was first reported to me, some people were saying that Sean seemed perturbed. I don't think that he was pissed. I think that he was just aggy, like just irritated. It seemed to me, it seemed like he was just irritated and he was like confused. Like he was saying, I'm confused. Where is this coming from? Why are we talking about this? Um, do you remember this? Like he was making references and he was setting the record straight. All, and he was being shady, okay? And listen, I mean, hey, it, uh, I love a good shade. He was a whole palm tree in that coffee. And so he was saying, he was stating facts because obviously Burger King was trying to rewrite history. We will not be playing Burger King's content. This is not a free promotion for him. But for my boo Sean, of course, we will play an excerpt, a small excerpt, maybe two, three minutes of the coffee so that you can get the, the perspective of what Sean was saying as he was saying it. I don't want to take it out of context. I want you to get the full grasp of what Sean was saying. And then you guys go over there and uh, prescribe in its entirety because it is a full 40 something minute uh, uh, audio. OK, you guys got to go over there and get your own coffee. Now, typically I would go downstairs so you could hear it loud and clear, but it's hot. It's an inferno downstairs and I'm under my air. OK, it's 90 degrees outside. Y'all going to have to strain your ears and listen to this good iPhone. This old ass iPhone I got. OK. Whew. Uh, I choose violence. Oh, shit. They going off in Sean Coffee. Oh, y'all got me wanting to watch the Game of Thrones today. Coming down over here in the coffee. Hey, Aaron. Hey, my baby. I heard you had a rough night. Let me, if you want to, you don't have to, Aaron. You don't have to. If you want to, you can. This is, this is not for the faint of heart. My God, on today, I say to you, I say to thou brethren, this is not for the faint of heart. Now, I wasn't over there. Don't think that I was, because I wasn't. I was watching my Lifetime movies. Me and my chat was uh, about to watch the uh, 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 Flowers in the Attic series. And I was watching um, this doctor who became obsessed with his patient, and he had the hero syndrome, and he wanted to save her. But they was telling me, Aaron, they said, you clicked them people link like you said you would, and uh, you gave them a run for their money. That's what they said. They said, you held it down, then you wind up uh, uh, pussyfooting around it and apologizing to Val. But that was okay. It's okay. You can apologize to Val. Do what you want. Because you, just because you sit over here don't mean you have to drag anybody. That is, this is a free, free choice. And you said, not a rough night. I had fun. Okay. 
Okay. But listen, they said you held it down. They said you was giving it and you was receiving and it was just everything was everything. So that's what the name of the game is. You're not supposed to take this, you know, to heart. And I appreciate you. And I said, listen, they said, they told me, they said, trees, they call me for you. I said, so I don't answer to no bitch on YouTube. When my shift is over, my shift is over. If I so choose to go somewhere and click a link, then I will click a link. But as for somebody trying to check me, bitch, who the fuck y'all talking to? And if Val would like to speak to me, Val is here when I'm live. Like fuck I'm talking about. If she got a problem with me, she been clicking my link. She could click my link again. The fuck? Okay, you want me to drop the link, Aaron? Okay. I'm just saying, whatever you say, say what you say. Mean what you say and say what the fuck you mean now. I can sit here and say, hey, I didn't see it that way. I'm wrong. And I apologize if I believe I'm wrong. If you believe you're wrong, apologize. Don't let nobody or nothing stop you from doing your grown ass man stuff. You know what I mean? Okay. So let me go over here. Shout out to Tinnikey Head Hunters. Okay, because she just came up on my feet, so I had to give her a shout out. That's my bestie. That's my best friend. That's my best friend. Go, you better, you better. Jobs for nine. <laughs> hey, my boo. Oh, shit, I'm trying to log into my own station here, Lord. That's my best friend. That's my best friend. You better. Hey, Sassy. Let me pin. God damn it. I don't see myself no more. I don't see myself. Oh, y'all know. Y'all better like it. Come on now. Come on now. Y'all want me to stay. Y'all better like it in advance. It's not letting me pin this comment. Moderator, just pick, copy and, and paste this goddamn. Okay, it's pinning now. All right, it's pinning now. Good God. I almost had a goddamn prediction. All right. Oh, good, y'all liking it as soon as y'all come in. I'm glad y'all learned because I would hate to stop this live at one hour. I mean, we can go as long as y'all want to. So the title of this is called Sean Davey Way Show Sets His Friend Straight. There were some assertions being made, and it was very cringe. It was very cringe. It was almost as if I was watching someone pander to Jaguar. Um, and this is like just, just me trying to understand as a viewer. This is without the animus that I have towards Breezy Neck. This is without the stain that I have for him being a fake-ass bitch. This is without all of that. And uncheckables, please check me or correct me if I'm wrong. Aaron, I love this avatar. Aaron. Who the fuck is Bear? Um, sir. Sir, that's backstage. Who are you? Sir. Who are you, sir? Are you are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm, I'm okay. I thought y'all were sending me to another place. I thought you were sending me. I promise you. What you want, what you want me to do, Bear? What you trying to do, sir? You look confused. You want to turn your camera off? Yeah, yeah. How you do it? Yeah. Uh, all you got to do is, you you see the um the icon down where it says start cam, stop cam. You hit stop cam. I can take you down until you figure it out. Stop the cam. Yeah, that's it. Don't mute. Just stop the camera, sir. Lord, Mister Mister Bear, you, you you took your uh you took your oh well when you figure it out get back with us. You're welcome back, sir. Okay, okay, you got to figure it out. All right, Mister Bear, what's up with you? You celebrating 2K with us? Okay. Oh, uh, Mr. Bear, I'm losing patience now. I'm trying to be uh, gracious. Yeah, yeah, I'll come up here. You know, I thought I was, I thought you was sitting at link. To where? Where you thought you was going, Mr. Bear? All right, Bear, you're not ready, obviously, but uh, you have a good one. I'm trying to unlock. So you have a good one to be blessed. Yeah, because I ain't got time. Uh, thank you, Bear. Um, Lord, he ain't done with me yet. God ain't done with me yet. He's still working on me, and he molded me into what he want me to be. I know, Lisa, I'm working on me. I'm unlocking me though today. Yeah. Thank you, Lisa. Um, Lord have mercy. Uh, get thee behind me, Satan. Um, oh Lord, go ahead, take it over, Aaron, because I, I just got, I've been taken here and I was taken there. Boy, I hate when I get thrown off. Oh God, Lord, Aaron, are you here or not? Okay, so I guess he's busy right now. Hey, original Nene, we miss you, boo. Where you go? Listen, we celebrating 2K on today. I'm trying to be as pleasant and as gracious and as grateful as possible. I couldn't think straight. Lord, I almost I got cross-eyed. Whew. Lord have mercy. Let me go back to Sean. See, Sean calms me down. Let me go back to his Discord and tell y'all what y'all missing over here in this coffee. Mods, please rotate Sean's uh, coffee link. Last time I checked, somebody was trying to tell on me over there in Sean's coffee, saying that I heard Trees was playing Sean's coffee. Bitch, what are you talking about? Didn't you just text me that you was done with Val? And now you over here telling on me? The fuck is wrong with you? I'm sick of people trading on me for no fucking reason. I'm sick of that. I really am. Early in the fucking morning. But anyway, yeah, that's some. Uh, let me be quiet because I said I don't do that and I'm not going to start. I'm not going to start. Hey, what? Hey, Aaron. You feeling good? I'm aggy right now. Why are you aggy? Because Bear, Bear done took me somewhere. 
What happened? What did you say? I, 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 was, I was having trouble. I was having trouble. Bear don't know where the fuck he, he done uh, 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 bumped into the wrong lane. He don't know where he want to be. Then I ask him, I give him the floor. He says, absolutely nothing. Derails my train of thought. And now we're here. I've never gotten on a live ever and pretended to be sick. So I don't know where that's coming from. The seizure I had the other day humiliated me. I don't want people to see me in a vulnerable place like that. That's a vulnerable place to be. I was just glad that my face was not on camera and that I had my avatar up. So again, I, when you started dragging me, I was like, what the, f I, I didn't get it. I actually did not understand where the drag, but the beef was between me. Can and I interject? Can I interject now? Yeah, go ahead. When you were sitting over there with the ops, you said, I expect for trees to drag me after this. Did you not say that? No, I did expect for you to drag okay. me after that. Because why? Not because why? Because why you was talking shit about me, right? No, that no, would be the inference. Why would I drag you if you said nothing about me? You Let implied me that I would drag you. Okay, okay I'm going to mute up. I'm going to mute okay. up. I said I expect trees. Listen, one thing about you and I's relationship is what Please, people don't... Please uh, answer the question, baby. I'm not sure. What people okay. don't realize is we understand how each other's mind works. So I knew once I went over there that you were going to be upset because they and you did not get along. You called so me said, evil, Val. I remember. They called you evil trees. And you agree. You evil? Okay. You agree. Saying I, that. If it wasn't for me, because I listened to one portion of it. I did because they sent me the clip. They said, trees, you need to hear that. And you said, yes, if it wasn't for me, if I wasn't sitting over there, me and you had no problem incoming, this and that. And then you start apologizing, as you usually do, the flip-flop and shit. You and incoming had a problem because of what they were saying to you in my chat. And you responded. But you always have a loss and lapse in memory when you want to sit with places. Because I wasn't going live. No. My channel was being struck. Okay. But go ahead. I'm going to mute up again. Okay. I, first of all, I didn't want to sit with anybody. I have my own channel. And to, let's be honest, for a long time there, you would call me and be like, I'm going live. And I would come and sit with you. And we had a great time. We Until I couldn't go live no more, Val. That's why you took it upon yourself to say, Trees made me do it. That's my whole issue. No, Just own trees, it. Just own it. You was bagging okay. and roasting without a gun to your head. Mute okay, up. I'm let me tell you the truth. Mute up and let me tell you the truth. When you couldn't go live anymore, I went on about my business. I went over there because Miss Cleo. Flip the script because I couldn't go live. You, let me tell you the truth. You can't interrupt. Miss Cleo posted in, in um, um, uh, I can't think of her name, but she posted in the chat, um, in comes chat and said, I don't even understand why Evangelist Val came for me. I've never done anything to this woman. And I read that and I thought, damn, she's right. I've never met Miss Cleo. I'm just going in on her just as I'm sitting there. Similar to what happened with me and Aaron last night when he said Evangelist Val, I just be going in because Trees is funny, yada, yada, yada. So I took it upon myself to go over there. Trees, every time I apologize to somebody, you say you flip flopping. No, I'm just apologizing. That don't make me a flip flopper. And there are people that really enjoy you and really. And, you and, and said about, I, got, I got a main tree top that was once a supporter of yours that said, they heard you uh -huh, uh -huh. say something about me feeding baby trees even. Everybody in the chat is in agreement. You were talking shit. It wasn't I no, oh, I apologize. No, you were talking shit, Val. Nobody I'm just saying, this is what the video is up, Val. You know people can okay. disprove you. Yeah, Stop. okay. So let me say this then. If I was saying anything about you or baby trees, I'm willing to say I apologize for talking about you the daughter. How can you because I don't remember. You this, is what you, this, this is what you don't understand. For, and this is what really pisses me off about you. Because you're a very intelligent woman and you you, you know how to use your And I know your when people are playing in my fucking No, face. don't don't talk don't talk me into this corner. Let me say what I'm about to okay, say. Go ahead, you I'm know how to use your charm and you know how to, how to manipulate people. You won't Wait manipulate. a minute, manipulate. Let me, let me talk. Manipulate. Let me talk, Bitch. trees. The reason why I have issues sometimes with stuff, it can be good or bad. It's because I have a brain disease. So no, I don't always remember anything. And I tell all of y'all that all the time. I did a whole live on it, that I have trouble remembering stuff. It don't have to be something negative I said about you. It could be something nice I said about you. It could be something I didn't say at all. My memory is not good. That's why I don't mind apologizing to people because I don't always remember saying certain things. That's just the truth. Y'all don't like me because I don't mind being awkwardly uh, honest about the fact that I have flaws. And that's fine. I don't care about the people in your chat. I'm just going to keep it 100. What I care about is the fact that me and you really don't have a surface issue. And that's just the honest to God truth, Trees. We don't. You can sit here and come up with this, that, and the third. And you can ride me again tomorrow. But the truth of the matter is, when we stopped talking to each other, we were still cool. If I messed around and said something that hurt you or made you feel bad or whatever, and you can lie and say, you ain't never made me feel bad, bitch, or whatever you want to say. Some emotions were involved in this thing. You decided to come out swinging on me because I had a seizure and you thought I was playing people. Okay, that's how you felt. But I'm letting the world know right now. I've not felt anything against this woman. I don't have nothing negative to say. And I'm not going to go into battle with trees. That's If y'all waiting to see that happen, it's not going to happen. Because I don't have nothing. There's nothing ill there. Period. You got to have some ill will and some anger towards somebody. I don't have nothing towards trees. I got nothing going on in my life. So I'm not going to be pulling out no arsenal or if I read trees one good time, she has played it for y'all. I can go and release it from my archives and, and, and hit, hit uh, share it and everybody can hear it. And that'll be everything y'all got. I'm not doing this. You can unmute trees. Y'all don't know what kind of therapy I go to. And that's another thing that's so interesting. All y'all doctors. I know, I, I, I know medical illnesses, Val, and you don't, you don't, you don't. Why? I'm not even getting into that. But I know that your son coming up there and you saying you want to call your son versus calling 911, that to me was a setup in an alibi. You and you don't talk during seizures, Val. You're Trace, focused what on. What are you talking about, Trace? Even if you're having a focal seizure, you don't talk through them. You're the first Trace, person I've ever seen talk that much through a seizure. Bullshit. Trace, hold on, hold on. Listen. 
My son is standing right here. Okay, listen. My son is standing right here. My seizures began with me mumbling, uh, lips smacking, and then I, I start to like try to enunciate certain words and I can't. Everything is shaking in my body. My mouth is shaking. My hands are shaking. And I try to talk through. What I said that day to Kimmy was, I need to call my son to call 911 because I'm having a stroke. Who knows what the, my brain is, is, is literally like off kilter. I don't know what I'm saying or what I'm talking about. My son is in the room behind me. So why would I say call him? Because I don't know what I'm talking about. He just so happened to hear the conversation and stepped right into the next room, thank God. I wasn't having a stroke. My mind didn't know what I was saying, but my son knew I was having a seizure. So he put me back up on my bed because I was leaning out and then he called his dad. His dad came in, helped me through the seizure, thank God. And then my son is a 16 year old kid. He might've sounded like a grown man, but he just went ahead and finished out the, the picked up the uh, phone and finished out the stream yard call, went, went back up, talked to Kimmy, said my mom had a seizure, not a stroke, and she's okay. That's what my kids do. It might seem weird to y'all, but to him, he was just finishing out what I had already started and letting those people know that I was okay. Why would I benefit from that tree? I didn't get no, no, uh, no, so, uh, what's it called? No cash apps, no super chats, nothing. There would have been no benefit. And this is another thing. I wasn't fighting with nobody that day. You said I was evading having to deal with, that was, uh, Pam was mad at Sip and, and Alicia and, and uh, Kimmy wasn't mad at nobody. So where was the, me trying to evade what was going on? I, I, I wasn't involved in no fight. I wasn't involved. I think I had a seizure because I had had surgery and they had switched my medications. That's why I think I had the seizure. It wasn't YouTube related. If it's childish, why do y'all listen? So y'all, it doesn't make sense. When Teresa's over here reading me for filth and calling me all kind of names and talking about my illnesses, that's funny. That's a key. But when I come over here to have a woman to woman conversation to a woman that's my, almost my age, I'm childish. How, how is this childish? This makes sense. I'm on YouTube because I want to be on YouTube. And I, you know, I'm not going to look at your, at your chat because I don't care. I care about this conversation that we are having. You can talk now. Hello? No, that's not true. The last thing you want to do is socialize. So people that have seizures don't socialize? Are you crazy? That's ridiculous. Why would I close myself off from society, my seven children and my five grandchildren and my husband because I have seizures? That's why you take seizure medication. Stop it. You sound ridiculous. Stop trying to run other people's families. Get up out of your own couch, walk outside and, and see what fresh air feels like. YouTube is not a priority. You missed 925. You should not talk. You have been in everybody's chat over the last couple of years. Pick a home. Stop it. Trees, are you still here? You go pray. You go ask for forgiveness for sitting in the middle. Well, you told your son, was 911 ever called around? No, honey, because 911, I said, I'm going to tell my son to call 911. I went into the seizure. My son came in the room. He knows not to call 911 unless my seizures go into five minutes. They know what to do when I have a seizure. So you already knew that 911 wasn't going to be called, but you said it anyway for the effect. No, I didn't know. The seizure wasn't planned. But you that said, call now. I got to tell my son to call 911. Because that, I say all kinds of stuff when I'm going into a seizure. One day I told was, my okay, okay, I get that because sometimes I sleep talk. But you also say, can y'all still hear me? We was on the floor, correct? I didn't say, can y'all still hear me when I was on the floor? I, I didn't even hit the floor. My son came in and got me. I said, can you, you said that your son picked you, that your husband came in and picked you up off the floor. We was on the panel. My son came and caught me before I hit the floor. Lord, they said that you got picked up off the floor. Okay, well, trees. We both okay, all right. I, I just can't push back. You know, okay. No, you can push back, but we both know. Because y'all sat over there on Kimmy panel and talked about uh, Taylor's medical condition and had a good kid. Okay, but, but listen, you was right there when we held court for Taylor. So we all been down. No, the fuck I wasn't. You weren't over there when we had court for Taylor. I was not over there. I trees. What? When it was Taylor Hudson. Oh, you talking about last night? No, I was not. No, not last night. That's oh, it was me, you. Oh, Taylor yes, Hudson. I was. Okay, so so I was just saying, we've all been down that road. That's what I'm saying. But I'm just I'm saying, not trying to listen, be last night. But you're getting offended, though, Val. But if I'm not offended about... because you being very poignant and you being like, oh, where do you want to be? No, I'm being straight up. See, that's what y'all saying. I'm asking you the truth. truth. I'm telling you the straight up truth. Okay, okay, I can't ask you nothing without you getting offended, okay? Because uh, I'm going to be a fool. Look, you know what's going to happen? This going to be whatever it's going to be because I know you well enough. I ain't got nothing against you, but obviously you had something against me to go over there for talking shit. I didn't even have to come up in a conversation. You could have pussyfooted and something for without trees being in it. So I can control what, what conversation. No, you could have said I'm not going to talk about trees. Me and trees ain't got no problem. Oh, you what you going to say? I'm going to stay neutral. I don't I have no problem with trees. You could have said a lot of shit other than the fucking backbiting bullshit you said. How many times oh, have you ever told somebody? How many times have you somebody asked me about violence? I said we ain't got no problem. See? See? How many times have you ever said I ain't got no problem now? A lot of times. All, all the way up until recently when I said I still ain't got no problem now. Val started talking about me and expected me to drag her. The day after you said the dumb shit, I said I'm a surprise and I ain't going to fucking drag her until the fuck I do. Okay. You wanted my attention, I ignored you. And I said, hey, they ever, you was over there talking, talking shit about me, Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, Trees. Okay. Nobody tell you. I, I, for real, uh, uh, mute up. Let me tell you something, Trees. If I wanted your attention, I have been your friend. I would call you just like I called you a minute ago. And I say, hey, friend, I miss talking to you. What's going on? You miss talking to me? Listen, you miss no, talking to me? Shut up and listen, though. Shut up and listen, because you don't ever want to hear what somebody tells you. You're not going to disrespect me on my fucking page. Okay, this is where you drop me, because you don't want me to get nowhere near you. I know how this works. I know how this works. Because you don't want me to tell the truth about how we could have possibly really had a relationship, a friendship. And I just went away. You went away. Things I, I saw how you treated your friend, Miss no. Pam, and I would say no thank you to that. So how did I treat my friend, Miss Pam? How did I treat her?
want to bore the brakes off the bitches? Are you done now? Because I think I'm doing Sean Dick Davey a disservice. I'm supposed to be talking about him. And the whole time he ain't getting no focus of this panel. It's been 265 people in here. And I, I want you to acknowledge, did I keep my end of the bargain? Did I not mute when you were talking? Did I not drop down and respect my word? Ms. Val? Bullshit from the pulpit. All right, well. I think that this is a good time to get some sing the praises of Sean Davey since he in the title. Oh, Sean Davey Way. Oh, Sean Davey Way. Oh, Sean Davy Way, oh, Sean Davy Way, when he, when he bought, when he bought, when he bought, when he bought me a chicken cheese oh, Sean Davy Way, he bought me fries, fries, and drinks, oh, Sean Davy Way, oh, Sean Davy Way. So let me go ahead and just play just a snippet of Sean's um, Discord, I mean, coffee. I would love for y'all to go ahead and... I would like to. Oh, Sean Davy Way. Oh, Sean Davy Way. Too bad. What is that? What is this? Oh, you talked about Eric and the outside baby saying I lied about that. What about the. Bitch, I ain't lied about a motherfucking thing. You lied about motherfucking me doxing your baby. Oh, uh, Sean is good, y'all. <laughs> Sean sees him. Please. Sean is good. He knows exactly what the fuck is going on and he's very calculated. And I knew not to question uh, after the fuck I was. Uh, I was gagged, bitch. I was gagged. When that whole setup with the mom and, and he got uh, uh, Sam away from her, bitch, I was a believer. I said, you know what? Let me mind my bald headed black ass business next time. Sure did. Sure did. Because that was masterful. And so I know in this instance, he knows what the fuck he's doing. He's a grown ass man, uh, six foot tall with greatness. And I know that he knows what the fuck is going on. And I know he, he sees him. He's quite uh, good at this. He's been in the game. Gave me some wonderful pearls of wisdom on several occasions. So I am not uh, worried about Sean doing what he needs to do for him. Mm -hmm. Not at all. Oh, shit, I'm about to lose this game. All right, y'all. So that has been all about the trees on today. I love y'all. Thank you for supporting. We are going to. We are still celebrating 2K. Yes, it went left, but such is, you know, uh, greatness in the making. Black excellence, y'all. One, two, three. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you 200 and at one point, what, 240, 50 something people, 60 something people here. Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. Thank you for getting me to 2K even when I wasn't on here. Thank you for helping me pay my stream yard. Bitch. Mm -hmm. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. I'm just so full of gratitude, thankfulness. And this is all the nature of the piece. Let's believe y'all. I, I shall not complain. Shout out to Aaron Wiles out TV. Uh, I shall not complain. I am grateful. Um, praise and blame is all the same. This is the nature of these baby. You're going to get bumps and bruises along the way, and everybody ain't meant to go on that, on that, what's wrong? And Val, I wish you the best. I do. But I honestly don't think that you're being honest with the people, but I'm going to mind my business after I give them uh, a complete history lesson. I'll let the people choose and decide for themselves, and you won't hear nothing else from me unless you try me. And that's if I decide to respond, because, you know, I I'm selective in what I want to give my energy to. And yeah, thank you, Val. Thank you, Val, for the super chat. I appreciate you. And I appreciate your uh, willingness to come up here and to clear the air. Um, but you still did what you did. And as a response to that, I'm getting my lick back. That's it. That's all. Guys, it has been lovely. And more people are coming in. And I'm trying to end this, y'all. I'm trying to be out this piece. Okay, y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all so much. Okay. I know it's some mixed feelings in the chat. Y'all are entitled to feel the way that y'all feel because y'all have been there. And I don't take this, you know, that serious. So, you know, I don't care because that, this doesn't affect my real life. You know, what people say about me and my family is not actuality. So uh, it doesn't matter to me. So that's why I can have a akuna matata attitude and let things go. I told you I am willing and I am very, um, um, very level headed and rational. I, it's, it's F everybody except, green, you know, F Greenfleet and it's a chance for everybody else. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead in the spirit of forgiving. And I bid you guys to do it. If nobody told you today, you are somebody. You may not be somebody to me, but you're somebody to somebody. Okay? I love y'all. Good morning in the night, Tops. And make her your wife I mean ugly So bad you can't look in her face So fast you can't go down And tire too late Now the reason that I say this Is simple and plain All the pretty girls Man they just play games With your mind and your time They're not with it Cause if you ain't got no money Then you might as well But with an ugly girl Man they simply adore ya Like you can mess around And they'll still be there for ya Cause you're all she has And you're all she can get So run out and find yourself An ugly chick They'll be honest all the time So boy don't pursue her Cause she's Ugly as hell, nobody will talk to her She was, he's a bat and a Godzilla Teacher. But it's not how she looks, it's how the girl treats you yeah. you wanna be happy for the rest of your life Man, find an ugly woman and make her your wife Cause pretty girls will have you crying the blues But when an ugly girl leaves, she ain't nothing to lose nope. Nope. with you about who's to blame or call no names real talk see girl 
only thing I'm trying to establish with you is not who's right or who's wrong, but what's right and what's wrong. Real talk. Just because your friend says she saw me at a club with some other bitches Sitting VIP, smoking and drinking and kicking it Tell me, girl, did she say there were other guys there? Did she say there were other guys there? Were there other guys there? Well, tell me this How the fuck she know I was with them other girls then? When the whole club packed, wait a minute, let me finish what I've got to say I've been with you five years and you listening to your motherfucking girlfriends I don't know why you fuck with them old jealous no man having assholes anyway Real talk, always accusing me of some old bullshit When I'm just trying to have a good time Robert, you did this, kills, I heard you did that Don't you think I got enough bullshit on my mind? Real talk, H hold up Didn't I just give you money to go get your hair, toes and nails done another day? Hm. Yeah, your ass was smiling then Real talk, uh, gave who some damn money? I ain't gave nobody no damn money, girl Is you tweaking? You see what your problem is You're always running off at the mouth Telling your girls your motherfucking business When they don't eat with us They don't sleep with us Besides, what they eat don't make a shit Real talk You call my mama's house and what? Girl, my mama ain't got a screen No calls for me Real talk And watch your mouth Fuck me Girl, fuck you I don't give a fuck about what you talking about I'm sick of this bullshit I'm coming home and getting my shit And getting the fuck up out of Dodge You ain't gotta worry about me no more And the next time your ass get horny Go fuck one of your funky ass friends Hell, you're probably already doing that shit anyway You gonna burn what? Bitch, I wish you would Burn my motherfucking clothes With your trifling ass Milton You bogus girl Milton Start your pop warming up Get ready to take me home